Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and once again, it is time for current events in the online fitness community, and I got this topic because someone did uh, what I've been asking you guys to do. On these current events, if you guys will link me to my, my public Facebook page, the one that's linked under all my videos, uh, if you would DM me uh, links and explain what's going on with the situation so that I can look into it and cover it, it would be appreciated. And someone linked me a video that Revival Fitness has done. And this is someone I've had multiple people tell me the guy seems to be supportive of me, um, seems to be an overall good guy. And they're like, oh, we think you would kind of like what he has to say overall. So I, kinda, I checked this video out. And it was one to where he called out Noble Natties. And the guy raised some pretty good points. Um, and I agreed largely with what he said. I'm not saying every part of it did I agree, but his general message and, and a lot of the points, I, I think he hit the nail on the head. And that is this idea that two things I have to remember. Number one, PEDs aren't going anywhere. Okay, they are an enormous part of the fitness and sports world. And, and I'm going to say they're larger in sports than they are in fitness. That's not going anywhere. For the majority of you, that started before you were ever born. Um, it's not going anywhere. There's nothing you can do to make it go away. Right? And he pointed out that the people who, who choose to be uh, oftentimes drug-free, they make this big noble crusade out of it. It's almost like they make themselves messiahs or cult leaders. And... You know, he raised that point, and here's the thing that you've got to remember, Revival. I don't, I don't know your real name. That's exactly what they're doing. They're not trying. They're not being like cult leaders. That is their intended goal. Okay? These are, and oftentimes, here's been my experience. Not only do they behave in the way that he described, but half the time they're a fake natty. Okay. And this is something I'm going to say as someone who's been in the iron game for decades. It has been my experience. I'm not saying this is true every time because we cannot speak in absolutes. And that's something that he also raised in this video that you can't, you can't make absurd statements like everyone. That's absurd. And he's right. All right. He said like when they say uh, everyone who is a PED user is insecure. Well, that's, that's, that's ludicrous. That's preposterous. Oftentimes, it's just people who have really serious goals that they're aware are not obtainable otherwise, okay? And that's called doing whatever it takes to reach your goals by any means necessary. Uh, and, and that is kind of the point. Uh, so back over to the point, though. He, it has been my personal experience over the decades that those who are most vocal and adamant about this it is a projection, right? I'm not going to use the word cope. Let's call it what it is. It's a projection. All right. These people are usually fake natties. Okay? Drug-free people who have really accomplished anything don't tell you all the time that they're drug-free. They don't create a superiority complex about it. They just go about their business, they have reached their goals, and they just do their thing. Okay? I'm going to give you a perfect example here in the power of Take someone like John Hack. Guy didn't make a big deal about it. He didn't even have a real moral issue with gear. He chose to be a drug-free lifter, be a world champion drug-free. Then he went on and started using gear and went over to untested. That's just what he chose to do. That's a perfect example. Someone who is, who is truly great at what they do and drug-free they almost never make a big deal about it. It really isn't that big of a deal to them because they're just worried about their goals. They're not worried about what other people are doing. Okay? They don't ever, they don't tell you they're drug free all the time. They just don't. It has been my experience that those who do, the overwhelming majority of the time, and I don't want to say every time because that, that's obviously not true. The majority of the time, we'll say more than half, they're a fake natty, and this is the way that they project. Okay, they they're projecting then their own insecurities. That's exactly what they do. And I'm going to venture to say, uh, based on the little bit I know about this whole noble natty brigade, they probably are fake natties. Okay, they probably are. 
I'm not saying that as a fact. Probably are, though. They meet the criteria, the mindset and criteria of a fake natty, which is the over zealous about it, the overcompensation, the accusations, the, the, the uh, insecurity, because again, that, that moral superiority that's projected is a sign of, of deep, intense insecurity, right? I mean, every, this is basic psychology. Everyone knows this. I'm not telling anyone anything that you don't already know, okay? Anyone who projects the, the extreme moral superiority and projects that outwardly is almost guaranteed to be extremely insecure. Hey, this is basic psychology stuff that every one of you know if you're older than about 15, you've probably realized this. Okay? And, and that's the point. You know, uh, you're... you're the revivals didn't quite grasp it and, and he was close they're not trying to be cult like they are literally attempting to create cults and followings they want cult like followings and that's something that I got the impression from him that he's not real big on right because none of us we're not better people than, than others because of what we're doing none of us are okay at the end of the day Every single last one of us are flawed human beings. We have flaws, we have merits, and the best that any of us can hope to do is for our, our merits to outweigh our flaws, okay? That, that's all we can do. All we can do is try to be good people in the balance. That's, and that's literally, that's all anybody can do. Every human being on earth. Just gotta put forward effort. But, you know, the people like this who, who they project their insecurity outwardly, it is to build a following and it is to make money. You know, uh, it's, it's, it's people can say, well, they may not be selling products. Are they? Are they selling coaching? Are they selling views? Is, do they have ads running in their videos? Right? Someone makes a video that they want tons of people to see. They do stuff to, to get publicity. You don't think that's for financial gain. You don't think all of us get paid for every single engagement on the internet that you give us? Like all of us, all of us content creators. People hopefully realize that, right? We get paid for every single engagement and view that you give us on all of our social media. Even the ones that you don't think are monetized, I promise you they probably are. You just don't realize it. So there's absolutely money. It's absolutely money. Okay? And, and don't let anyone convince you otherwise. Let's just be honest about that. So why are they doing it? They're doing it because they know they can make money. They know that if they lie about being a natty and they project this and create this whole aura, this image, that it's, it's better and morally superior, they'll build a big loyal following team following who buy into their bullshit okay they'll buy into their bullshit they'll get views they'll get engagements they'll get likes and they can take that to the bank that's money guys don't let anyone cloud your judgment and think that well they just people just want to build a following just to have followers no you make money off that okay and it doesn't matter what platform So drop that, that ludicrous idea. Let's be honest for once in this industry. Let's be honest. Everyone's getting paid for all the engagements. Anyone with a big page anywhere, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, they're making money. And that's ultimately what it comes to with these guys. It is. It's business. They don't have your best interest in mind. They don't really care. I mean, come on. Do you think anyone out there really cares that other people are using gear? Do you think they really, morally, really, they don't? You know what? And here's what I'm going to say. Here's my response to all of that. The revival hit the nail on the head. 
guy says, it's not going anywhere. It, it is a permanent part of fitness culture. And it has been since before he was born or any of these noble natties he's talking about were born. Okay, it's been that way a long time. What's the only solution? The only solution is education so that people can make educated choices. As grown adults, as grown men and women, all we can do is provide information and tools so that people can make their own choices and make educated choices. And that's, and that's hard to do because some of the platforms will restrict your ability to do that. But that's all we can do. And then people can make adult decisions and decide what is right or wrong for their life and their body. Okay? In an environment of education, not ignorance. All right? While these noble natties will pretend they're better than everyone else, while half the time just lying about their own use and making money. But yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to say on that. And here's what I'm going to say also, revival. Some people said you wanted to reach out to me. Reach out to me, brother. You know how to reach me. Go over through Facebook. I'm easy to get to. Say hello. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I'll talk to you guys next time.